so excited right now, like beyond. We need to sit down. We are going to the Eras tour today and I'm so excited. I got my coffee. I need to start getting ready right now. I was editing all morning and I'm kind of in a rush now, which is really fucking annoying because I was planning on like giving myself enough time, but that never works out in my favor because I am just a mess. We're gonna start with my hair, but I figured I would make a whole video of this day because I'm so excited. I've been a Taylor Swift fan since I was born basically like i don't remember a time in my life where i wasn't a taylor swift fan i've been to every single one of her tours i know every single song i know every single lyric i literally love her i used to have posters of her on every inch of my wall when i was little and i am just beyond excited i have the cutest outfit ever and i'm just i just can't wait I figured I would film a get ready with me and then also just vlog the whole thing. I need to play some music. I'm like multitasking, doing a million things, starting this vlog, uploading my Paris vlog, and trying to get ready. Also, I'm vlogging on my G7X. I'm sorry if it's like a little bit shitty quality, but I don't want to bring my M50, the big camera, into the stadium and I don't even think they would let me, so... We're filming the whole thing on the G7X. So I'm going to the MetLife show night one. I have floor seats, which is insane. I got so lucky when I was buying tickets. All the other tickets in my section were like $2,000. And I got the tickets for $700 each, which is still expensive. But they're currently reselling for $10,000. So I won. That's all that I know. I'm going with my mom, my cousin Olivia, my cousin Carly, and Carly's husband James, and Olivia's sister-in-law, Olivia. We went to her last tour all together, and it was so fun. We tailgate in the parking lot, and we just have a fucking blast. My mom has been taking me to Taylor Swift concerts literally like since I was like five, and Olivia always comes like we that's this is like our thing literally so I wouldn't go with anybody else I'm so excited so I am dressing up as an era I chose fearless I don't know it just it spoke to me that's what I felt like I needed to do I was going back and forth between fearless and 1989 but fearless one and my dress is literally like my dream dress I'm obsessed with it and I ordered it last minute because I originally ordered two other dresses and I hate them like i just hated the way they looked on me boo move your boot girl last minute i ordered a for love and lemons dress and it came literally yesterday so thank god i like it because i don't know what i would have done it would have been fucked i'm trying to do like really tiny pieces so it's like big but i'm kind of rushing but i think i'm gonna finish curling my hair off camera because this literally takes me like an hour and then I'll do my makeup with you guys. And I'm just gonna sit here and blast all of her music. I literally have been pre-gaming this concert with all Taylor Swift music for the past like month, especially the past week. The past week has been like really aggressive, but the past like, actually past like few months since I got the tickets, I have just been like on a Taylor Swift kick as I should be. So I'll be here. I'm gonna try to do this quick. Oh my <laughs> My hair hasn't been this curly in who freaking knows how long. I'm gonna like shake it out for sure a bit because it is a little crazy, but I'm gonna do my makeup first because I want it to set. Okay, wow. I mean, it's giving fearless. Like it is doing the trick. It's doing what I wanted it to do. I'm just a little scared <laughs> of myself like this. I literally look like how I used to curl my hair in middle school fully. That's crazy. Okay, well now it's time for makeup. I want to do like just a very glowy look with like gold on my eyes, I think. So yeah, okay. I have like 30 minutes-ish to do my makeup. I think that my mom and my cousin both hopefully are running late. I also got these butterflies to put in my hair. They're like gold and really cute. So we'll see that when I'm like done getting ready, those will be the finishing touches. I have not really been paying attention too much to like what the surprise songs have been, what the lineup is. Like I want to be surprised and I don't want to have like any expectations. I just want to like go in blindly kind of. So yeah, I mean this week I have caught on a little bit to like all of the surprise songs she's done just because like I've been talking about it with my friends 
and everybody and James literally made like a diagram of like which ones we could possibly get so I looked at that I really want which ones do I, I want Cornelia Street really bad and I also really want the way I loved you but I feel like I'll be happy with anything but I really want Cornelia Street like so bad I feel like she's not gonna do it but I really love that song I'm like literally trying my best to pay attention to nothing I just want to go in blindly and have a great time which I'm gonna have a great time like I if you haven't seen Taylor Swift perform Taylor Swift is genuinely like the best performer I have ever seen in my life she puts on such a great show she's so talented like I'm so excited to see her again I haven't seen her in concert since when was her last tour I don't know let's Google it I feel like it was so long ago yeah 2018 the reputation tour that was the last time I saw her it was in 2018 I was 18 years old wow I'm so excited I miss her I really hope that one day I meet her because that would be such a full circle moment for me in my life <laughs> I just love her she literally she raised me anyway using the milk makeup sunshine skin tint I feel like my face is so much paler than my body because I self tanned but I'm just gonna contour and pray for the best. I can't wait to put on my dress. It's one of my favorite dresses I've ever worn in my entire life. I'm contouring with Rare Beauty. This is the best. Oh my God, I wonder which ones of her friends are gonna be there. Maybe Selena will be there. I think that she lives in New York, I'm pretty sure. I'm so happy that we're not in a pandemic anymore. Like I know COVID's still a thing, but I'm so grateful that like life is back to normal and we have concerts and fun things. Like I feel like life finally feels fully normal again since then and i'm just so excited concerts are some of my favorite things in the entire world ever i can't believe that it's already like time for this concert like i feel like before i know it i'm gonna be back home and it's gonna be over and i'm gonna be sad but i'm so grateful that i get to go getting tickets was so damn hard for this show it was unreal like it's crazy the fact that people are buying tickets apparently somebody bought tickets for ninety thousand dollars today i saw a tiktok that's ridiculous. Like, there's just actually no way. All I wanted that day. You wanted a bread. I was making my own way. Better let's get out of this town. Away from the crowd. I honestly have no idea if she sings the full 10 minutes of All Too Well. I, like, when I tell you guys, I have tried to learn as little as possible about the show. Because I really want to be surprised. But if she sings all 10 minutes, I think I actually might cry. I think I might cry in general like I don't know I've been like hella emotional lately so I really could possibly cry during this it really really might happen I'm trying to make my makeup very very glowy doing some highlight I feel like this video is for sure gonna get copyrighted <laughs> I'm gonna try to film as much of the concert as possible for you guys because I know that there are so many people that aren't able to go that would have loved to so this one is for you we can go to the concert together i'm literally going to film everything possible and put everything in so this video is probably going to be very long but i want you guys to come along the whole experience because it's gonna be good do some rare beauty blush in joy this is so pretty i feel like compared to some of the other outfits i've seen on TikTok, mine is pretty simple, I will say, but I didn't want to be uncomfortable. Like, I'm going for the concert. I wanted to dress up as an Arab, but I also wanted to be very comfortable. Also, my mom and my cousin are officially running late, which I love when people run late because I run late. <laughs> so, yeah. And we're not actually running late. Like, the show doesn't start until eight. Taylor doesn't go on until eight, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we're just tailgating for like a few hours in the parking lot. My cousins are bringing food So we're just gonna have like a whole moment. It's gonna be so fun. We technically aren't really in a rush Like I don't know, but apparently there's a lot of traffic. So that is a little bit alarming It'll be fine. I always get a little bit anxious before Concerts just because I hate big crowds a lot it makes me anxious, but I'm excited more than anything And I know that once I'm there, I'll feel calm once she starts singing all my anxiety is going to disappear I just realized that this is my first video back from my travel vlogs coming back with a fucking bang going to paris and amsterdam was so fun i had the best time ever i love traveling 
literally more than anything traveling and concerts honestly those are two of my favorite experiences in life and we're going back to back with two of my favorite things on this channel but that trip was so amazing and it was great to be able to go away with my family we just had such a good time so if you guys missed the paris and amsterdam vlog those are my last two videos go watch them <laughs> I actually just planned, well, I didn't really plan it, but I just got invited on another trip that I'm taking in January 2024, and I'm not going to tell you guys where or what or anything yet, but just know it is one of the coolest places that I probably will ever go in my life, and I can't believe that I'm going, and the opportunity is just insane, and I'm so grateful and excited. I can't wait to take you guys along. I'm going with Emma, Hannah, and Anna, and I'm just like beyond excited. I can't, I can't wait. I found out about that trip when I was like in my peak post-vacation depression after Paris, and I literally, like, it brought me back to life. <laughs> I was so excited. I'm just taking some bronzer and putting that in my crease first, but then I want to figure out like a pretty gold color to put all over my eye. I'm not a big eyeshadow girl, so I'm not doing anything too crazy, but I want it to be sparkly. Ooh, wait, I have these from NARS. I forgot. I feel like this might be perfect. They're really sparkly. Oh, actually, maybe it's not sparkly enough. Wait, no, I forgot that I have this from Fenty. Okay. I've never seen a gold or gold in my life. I'm just dusting it because I don't want it to like look yellow, which it is like a yellow gold, but I want it to just like be a little bit, like not too intense. When I have on too much eyeshadow, I like hate how my makeup looks. So keep it a bit simple. It's still clearly fucking gold. <laughs> then I'm going to take these Cover Effects glitter drops and I'm going to dot on my inner corner. Oh, that was not a dot. I'm going to take a little brush and kind of like disperse it this is really pretty once you like keep patting it in i don't know if you can really see on camera but it's just so sparkly when you are young they assume you know nothing my closest friend i don't like a gold rush gold rush i don't like anticipating my face in a red flush Okay, finished my makeup. Now let's shake out my hair. I need something. I need this to be a little bit softer. Okay, wait, it's actually really cute. Like it's giving, it's giving what it, it needs to give. It's giving fearless era for sure. Everyone's gonna know what I was trying to achieve. So it's not like I'm walking around with 2013 hair, you know, like, I think it's gonna be pretty obvious. Wait, now for the butterflies. I have no idea how to go about this. I just thought they'd be cute. Slightly concerned just because I feel like it's gonna make it annoying to move, but I feel like it, it, they might be cute just kind of like clipped randomly. Like I didn't want it to as much be like, like I didn't want to like pin up my hair. I more so wanted to just like have them clipped in random. I feel like I'm gonna fuck my hair up with these in it. Like, I don't know. I play with my hair so much and I move it around so much. I don't even know if these are necessary. Like they aren't even giving really fearless vibes, but I think that they're pretty. That's why I got them. I don't know. I might not, I might not wear them. They're kind of irritating. Okay. I might not wear, I might not do the butterflies. I feel like you guys might be mad at me because I feel like they are actually cute, but I feel like I might have more fun with my hair just down and then I can just like be free. <laughs> Okay, big moment. Here's the dress. Guys, I love this dress so much. It's so sparkly. The detailing on it is just everything. Like, look at the straps. So pretty. The detailing is everything. Like, I am in love with this dress. Truly, it's my favorite thing I've ever bought. Okay, let me go put it on. <laughs> Guys, I am so in love with this dress. Are we kidding? It's so good. It's so pretty. Okay. Is she giving fearless? Because I think so. I love it. These are the shoes. I love it. 
No, I love this so much. I think I'm gonna put some like body glow stuff on. I have this from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Supermodel Body Glow. I wanna look like a supermodel. This is pretty. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I'm ready and I'm actually ready early, which is a shock to everyone involved. Okay, well, just like that, I'm ready. Matt, I am like really obsessed with this look. This dress, guys, I like just can't get over it. I love it. And the boots, I feel like the look came together. It's kind of simple, like I said, compared to like other people's looks that I've seen for the concert, but I'm comfortable and I feel cute and I feel like I'm on theme. So my work here is done, basically. I'm going to make a couple of TikToks and wait for my mom and my cousin and just like get my shit together, so. Yay, we're walking to tailgate right now. We just Ubered and it was crazy. Carly and James have their car here, so we are gonna tailgate with them. I'm so excited. And also Hannah and Anna went in because they have a VIP package and Hannah got me merch. I love her and I'm so excited. Matching glitter on your eyes. Oh yeah, you see it? Looks pretty, girl. You're bringing this in? What? You're bringing this camera in? Yes, I'm filming the whole concert. You gotta for, pay attention. For everyone that can't go. That's nice of you, but you still need I'll to like- I'm gonna pay attention, I'll just be like- <laughs> Guys, this is 13%, no, it's 12.5% alcohol, and I need to not drink another one after this, because I'm literally drunk already. I'm tipsy already. I remember. Okay, I'm so excited. No, James has been very prepared. This is his moment. I went through concert by concert, <laughs> album by album, frosting off songs, adding them to the list, and this is what we're left with. <laughs> Aside from like the new music that just came out last night, I don't have that. <laughs> no. Well, I'm really hoping. Okay, for what? Yeah, what's your guesses? My guess. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're going to get Welcome to New York. No. And I think we're going to get Glitch. Glitch. Why don't? Glitch. I think it's like a nice little like party-ish song, New York City. She wants to like get into it a bit. Okay. I think we're gonna get a midnight song. I think she like she's, she's she wants to give us one. Okay. <laughs> Could get a reputation song just because of how many are on the list. You can see she's been neglecting reputation. She has been neglecting it. These are songs she hasn't sang yet. Yes, hasn't, hasn't. These are options. Wait, let me see it. She, oh, she please. might she might give us so hmm. I love getaway. sweet nothing. We might get getaway. Oh I love bigger we, we than the whole Oh, we might. That's a little sad, that song, but I love that song. Oh, well, she might sing it. I don't think so. What? It is really We're sad. Not gonna sad I love that song. Yeah. Ah, that's so funny. That's just going to be crazy. It's like, you might as well go an hour that way or a little bit of an hour. Or like the main rush. Okay, we just finished our, um, our little tailgate. We're going to go in now. I'm so excited. I'm going to cry. I'm also a little bit drunk. How are you feeling? Um, a little buzz. Are you excited? I'm so excited! We got a lot of lovers in the building. All right, we made it into MetLife, and now, I don't know what's going on. We just went through security. But look, Hannah got me this one. I'm getting pulled through the crowd. Oh, we're, lo we're losing everybody. Oh my God, they're walking really fast. I just oh, met say hi. Amanda, number two. Oh my god! Oh, I'm number one, I'm number two. Your name's Amanda? Yeah! Mom, I love you. I love you and your mom right here. Podcast, everybody's yeah. screaming, it's fire. And oh, shout out Nina, because I know you're watching. Yeah. I'm coming out for you with my video. You're so cute! I love you so much. Tonight, and 
They may have started out being about something that happened to me in my life, or maybe a fictional character that I created in my imagination, but here's my goal. That by the end of tonight, when you think of these songs, you'll think about us tonight and the memories we made here at the
if you haven't, just look down at your wrist. You have a light-up bracelet on that, that you know, lights up at different points. But that, what happened just then, that was not that. That was just you guys telepathically communicating with each other to hold up your phones. song on the Evermore album, which is the era we are, we are currently in the era of Evermore. But that was a song called Marjorie, and it was about, um, I wrote it about my grandmother who passed away when I was 13, and she was, she was a singer too, and um, I, I, I know for a fact she really would have loved to have sang in MetLife Stadium, and, and she, her voice is actually on that song, so she just did, actually. You know, like, I was raised not to brag about stuff because it's annoying, but I have to brag about our opening acts on the Eras tour. I just feel like we have the most wonderful opening acts on this tour, so I want to talk about it for a second. It's really exciting that we're playing here, so, like, I think that um, I can confirm that the people who opened up this show, they're, they're watching this right now, so I just want you to know that for how loud you are when I say that Gail opened up the show and was fantastic. And then, I feel really, 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 really lucky that one of my favorite artists decided to come on this tour. I genuinely feel like a contest winner getting to hear her music every day. Uh, Phoebe Bridgers is on this It's the sickest thing ever. I'm so excited about it. Just all of it. All of it. You guys are fantastic. You're just like every experience I've ever had before in terms of like connecting with you as a crowd. This tour has completely redefined that feeling for me. And uh, and I really, really missed you. Like I haven't gotten a tour in five years. When the pandemic was happening and we were having conversations about, you know, the music industry was always talking about Will there ever be stadium tours again? Will will artists get to connect um, in that way, on that scale, ever again? And um, there were a lot more important conversations going on uh, culturally, so I just did not think about those conversations. And also, it was too sad. Um, I was just like, I'm not going to think about not seeing them in this way. Because um, I... I I've been writing songs and playing them live since I was 12, and this is the way that I process stuff. I, I make music, and then I sing it with you, and when you sing along, I feel better. I just thought, you know what, if I can't play shows with them, and I can't go out on tour and see them, I'm just gonna make as many albums as possible. And so we do have, since I've seen you last, um, four new members of, of our musical family that I would like to talk about. The first one being Lover. <laughs> Evermore. And Midnight. And uh, Evermore was a pandemic album. And so I just didn't think about anything other than making that album. Uh, writing it, so putting it out. Um, but there was one song that when I wrote it, I just thought, man, I really, really wish I could play Champagne Problems.
that never made the album by Rope Moose 22. And <laughs> it was actually about uh, being afraid that you guys are going to get sick of me. So. And I, I, I thought, you know, I really want to I wanna put this song out, but I really want to. Uh, I want to have another female artist on this. You know, and I asked one of my favorite artists, one of my favorite songwriters, she said, this person that I think is like just everything to me, you know? Like, and she said, yes. She said she would, she would sing on it. So, uh, Phoebe, do you want to come out?
drop in the show because this is the first time we're doing something like this. <laughs>
Voice is going. We have to talk. We have to talk. Okay. What do you have to say to them? I don't really know. First of all, we were really close to where all of the people. Wait, I can't speak. I'm like, I'm not even drunk. I just like. No, we are so I just drunk. like can't speak. Walked past the tent with all of the celebrities. Oh God. Saw my go. husband, Sean Mendes. Sean <laughs> Mendes. He looked so good. He looked so, so hot. Like, he's so hot. Anyways, Taylor was amazing. Like, literally that show, unreal. Like, I literally feel drunk off of the show. And I can't speak because I literally screamed every single song, every single word. And I'm actually scared to edit this because I feel like it's probably all just like me screaming. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully you couldn't hear me. But I literally filmed, I think, almost every single song. Parts of every single song, at least. I tried to get as much as I could so you guys could experience it, too. But that was so fun. Oh my god, that was so fun. Mom, how'd you like it? It was amazing. Now we're gonna have a sleepover. You don't want to sell them? Hey, it was food. amazing. That's all she has to say, I guess. My phone's charging. I can... That's all she has to say. Are we go... Okay, I'm coming. I honestly, like, can't even pick a favorite era that I need to wash my face I feel like yeah. me too um I can't pick a favorite era the whole thing was so <sighs> she's just so talented and amazing and beautiful and I like them perfect. all like I liked I, there's not one I, a favorite one if I could think god I couldn't even I honestly couldn't even answer that correctly she is, I loved them all she, she is a beautiful creature literally I was she puts on a great show. Oh, we saw Taylor Swift's mom and everyone went wild. And then I was like, I would have loved, like, I hope, I could only hope that my child is that great. Like, that's crazy. Well, imagine, she was saying, I didn't realize her grandmother was a, like a singer. Yeah. But imagine pushing out Taylor Swift. Like, imagine looking at the stage that's and being I'm like, saying. like, I created that. Like, that's crazy. Props to her mom, that's really cool. Imagine being Taylor Swift, I kept saying that, I think I said that multiple times, like, imagine being her, like, people go crazy for her, like, I go, I go crazy for her, like, she loves it, did you see, like, she was really, like, absorbing the moment. She was, she's so, she's just the best, she's so amazing, I love, I love her so much, I'm so happy that I love her. So we got happy. to see the, her video. Yes. Oh, yes. We saw the music video for Karma for featuring Ice Spice. She played it for us before it came out. It came out tonight at midnight. She played it for us at like 10 p.m. So we saw it first and it was so fun. And she's just the best performer ever. I love her. I love her so much. Boo. Also, me. she references the age 22. And obviously 22, but then also, what's the other song where she references it? I like my brains. Oh, she's, um. Where she says, uh, how can you know everything at 18? Nothing at 22. Nothing. Yeah. The song she sang with Phoebe. Nothing. 
what's Phoebe it called? Came, I know, what's it called? Phoebe came out stage saying with her, and so did Jack. Right? Yes, he did. This Nothing one. new, yeah. She were, I don't know, 22 must have been a pivotal year for her, but it's just crazy because I have been a Taylor Swift fan since I'm like five or four, and now I'm 22, this and I'm just standing me. in the crowd, and I'm like, wow, this is so crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. I had a great time. People are outside screaming. That's all. I think that that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for coming with us. What is going on outside? I gotta be nosy and listen and watch. No, I want to go to sleep. People are going at it. Love you guys.